In this video you will see the installation of a plastic rigid cabinet. They have no water absorption, no growth of mold, maldu, termites, it has no lead which is it is non-toxic. He will use, uh, you see two uh, screws provided with, uh, with your cabinet. They are inserted into two pre-drilled holes in the, at the back of the cabinet. You see the installer. Uh, you see there's uh, there's a gap. As you see, as you can see, you can you can move the it is uh, you can move the the uh, the cabinet sideways. Once the gap is already aligned between the the false drawer and the and the and the door you will mark uh, with the hammer the, the the hole you know the the screws with the hammer then you will mark where the cabinet was placed you remove the cabinet and you use a, an electric drill one quarter of an inch. You will drill two holes. Remember where the, where they marked. You mark the uh, the where the two holes will you know the two marks. Now he's making the two uh, holes in the in the uh, in the wall. So I was saying uh, this cabinet is durable, lightweight, hygienic, uh, and resistant. It is fire retardant. It needs almost no care, it, which is almost uh, free maintenance. It is compatible with uh, house cleaning products. Uh, it doesn't swell up or cap, uh, keep uh, bad orders. Now, uh, the, uh, in this case, you'll see uh, the, the the wall anchor, concrete wall anchor. It is inserted with in each one of the holes. Pretty, uh, you know that he's already done, and then you use a hammer to make sure uh, you in, you insert him well. Now. You place the cabinet where you marked previously. Remember the, the you know the wall. You marked the, the floor and the uh, and the wall. Now you use the uh, electric screwdriver to secure the cabinet. As you can see, um, the cabinet is aligned. Remember, the false drawer and the door are, was aligned at the beginning, moving the, the moving the, the cabinet sideways. Um, now you have the handle, which is was pre-installed at the back of the cabinet. Now remove the two screws, and then. Put them in front. Now you're finished in, uh, installing the cabinet. Now, you will, in this case, apply at the uh, bead of silicone at the, at the bead of the, uh, you know, at the rim of the cabinet. A thin bead. Now, you will replace the, cam the, the top on, you know, on top. 
and uh, press fir firmly and let it dry at least at least 24 hours now thanks for purchasing our uh, our plastic cabinet and enjoy your product for many years to come thanks thanks